Where do they come up with all these clever names for recreational drug use? Roasting a bone, banging down a stiff Lucy. They're always what people want to remember and what people want to forget. And I think there's a lot of stuff in here that people don't want to remember. Yeah. But they did, they did. High school can be a tense place, you know? Oh, yeah. And we try to kind of, you see, what, what would it be like if, you know, obviously it's a comedy, you know, but what if we try to make this, like, really tense? You know, see what kind of fun we can wring out of this thing by just kind of squeezing it. But that's funny, though, that, that uh, older women were disgusted with that's the movie. What if we failed the test and no one even noticed? How can I fail the test and no one cares? If everyone fails, tomorrow's the bake sale. We swap in bud brownies. Where are we going to get that much weed? How much of your character did you draw on your own experience and for you writing the script and directing the film? How... Uh, oh, no, for me, I was just sort of going off of what John had written, you know, for me it was just sort of, I always kind of just try and make it as funny and as sort of organic seeming as, as you can and for me it was just a chance to do something really, really funny and, and really sort of different and that was really sort of my big thing. I, I just wanted to try and entertain myself as much as I could uh, and, uh, you know, John wrote a really, really funny script and, and had a really clear vision and I said, yeah, that'll be fun, count me in. Yeah, a little bit, you know, they, uh, I, I, I had sort of a strange, I grew up in LA and then I went to college in Boulder, Colorado, so I grew up in sort of the two weed meccas of the world, um, but uh, I just crowned LA one of the weed meccas. I've never heard of it referred to as one, you know, I, mean, I don't know what's going on with the kids. Yeah, so um, so I just kind of put a lot of stuff that, that, and they say write what you know. You know, so uh, so I did that, and then uh, I worked with Stephen Susco, my producing partner, and a writer named Eric Lintoris, and we kind of had, you know, Stephen and I kicked the script back and forth. He was in Mexico having margaritas, uh, you know, and we just tried to make it fun, uh, make it a, an entertaining film. And I had been staring at the poster for Up and Smoke on the wall of my office for a couple of years, and I was just like, I'm gonna try to do one of those, you know. You just had the poster up in your in your office yeah. just because you're a fan of the movie? Yeah, a huge fan. I have the whole you know movie memorized. Up until when Tom Skerritt's character Raspberry appears, then I, I sort of it loses its you know form in my brain. But uh, I have the whole movie memorized up, up to that point. <laughs> you know what the problem is here, Brandon? The internet. The sticky green. You've never done this before, have you? It's like freedom. <laughs> but Travis is a little bit of my old friend. Uh, I don't want to say his name, blow up his spot, but uh, he was one of my roommates in college. I used a little bit of him. Uh, he was also a roommate of mine in L.A., um, more so than high school. But just a little bit of him and a little bit of, you know, a bunch of other different people. I actually know a guy, a friend of mine, his name is Travis Bro. And I was just like, you mind if I steal your name? It's a great name. You know? Uh, you know, and he's, like lives in San Diego and listens to reggae music and surfs and... And take a little bit of that and just kind of run with it. Yeah, just throw it all together. <laughs> well, and like I said, you just heard Stephen Sussman in your very different role than you have on Dexter as yeah. your, your version of Travis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, I thought you were talking about that. I'm like, no, I don't have any serial killers in my in my past. At least none that I know of. Mm. Yeah, no. Uh, for me, it was uh, again, you know, it's pretty simple, but it just seemed like a really funny movie to be a part of, and it seemed like something that would be. A lot of fun to make, and 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 I thought would be rather entertaining for uh, for a large group of people uh, to see, and so I sort of signed on, and and really just uh, willingly wanted to kind of make a fool out of myself at various points. <laughs> My favorite, like I said, the Jesus dance. Jesus yeah, dance well, serial killer and now cheese it killer. There you go. Listen, I got the market corner. Product. Yeah, exactly. Thank you both very much. Thank you. Sure. No problem. You sick, twisted freaks. You didn't get the whole squad. Where are you? I'm everywhere.